This is all I need now to make a great painting, or great to be determined. Hey guys, I'm about to set up and start painting. Before I start painting, I figured I'd record myself and show you guys exactly what my setup looks like. Everything that I need to paint is in this backpack. The first thing in my backpack that I have is this stool. And this is a pretty simple stool. This is because sometimes I don't actually wanna sit on the ground when I'm painting. I like having something to sit on, or sometimes the ground's a bit muddy. I put my brushes on this stool instead. The thing with this backpack, it opens at the side. I thought it would be a really great idea to buy this backpack because it was a portable messenger bag. Messenger bags are a terrible idea. Even if something weighs as little as 10 pounds, it's really, really annoying. Get yourself a proper backpack. Whether it opens on the side or at the top, it doesn't really matter. The first important thing in my backpack that I always reach for first when I'm setting up to paint is my tripod. There are a lot of different types of easels that work when you're plein air painting. This is a carbon fiber camera tripod. As you saw, it's super collapsible. It collapses to less than a foot long and all the legs, they extend, they telescope out. They're very easy to loosen up and tighten back up. Not the cheapest piece of equipment, but it is a specialty piece of equipment. It's carbon fiber, it's lightweight. I've had this thing for years and it's been holding up great. And so I've kept buying more of them for my cameras when I record myself. They're great, highly recommend them. They are Siri Traveler 5CX. It's really important not to confuse that with the 5C. The big difference is it's $10 cheaper, but the head is a mess. The thing that's really nice about this head, so obviously telescope's out, it has a quick release plate. When I have a little plate on the bottom of my Peshad box, and Peshad box is a fancy way to say paint box, it's the box that I actually have my paint in, my palette, and what holds up my painting. This slides on, it catches by this little hook. The other box does not have that. And then what's really nice is it swivels freely, but it also rotates with this knob. So that's really helpful when I'm adjusting my box. So I'm gonna put this over here. And then eventually what I do is I have a huge carabiner on my bag and that huge carabiner allows me to hang my backpack at the bottom of this little tripod and that helps it weigh it down. It helps make sure that it doesn't fly over on its side in a strong gust of wind. Going forward is my Peshad box, my paint box. And so this is what my paint box looks like. As you can see, it's a very long, flat box. It's an inch tall and it opens up sort of like a laptop. And then here I have all of my paints and my mixing area, a little magnet for my palette cup and my palette knife. And on this little ledge, I put down either palette or oil paper. This is basically the most important thing. This is something I built and designed myself. There's more details of it on my website. I do sell them sometimes. They're out of stock currently. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna produce them is. There are a few alternatives to Peshad boxes. There used to be one called OpenM. It's really nice. It's no longer available. They closed up shop. There's something on the market right now, which is kind of similar. The New Wave Yugo plein air boxes. I really don't like them because when you open them up, they're very shallow. They're only quarter deep between your palette area and the lid. And so oftentimes if you try to have your paint laid out in the box, you close your lid, it's gonna get on top. I like to have a wooden palette area. Some people ask me if this is glass. No, it's just the patina. It's really reflective. By the time you build it up, it's really nice. I like having my paint out on my palette like this. The open, I'm used to be able to offer that. Uh, another thing that's a bit cheaper on Amazon, there are these uh, Sienna Peshad, Sienna Plein Airs. They're a bit bulkier. They're a lot bigger. They're more affordable though. And I know a number of friends that use them like Eric Lee or Tyler Berry. And then Edge Pro Gear, ridiculously expensive. Uh, some people like them. Not a lot of Plein Air painters I know actually use those though. And this is my lightweight setup. I have an entirely different setup for when I'm painting really, really big paintings. But a lot of the paintings I paint are size nine by 12, maybe a little bit bigger. And so this is what I use for the 9x12s. The way I attach it is there's a quick release plate. So that's pretty similar with a lot of Peshad boxes. It's a universal mount, like a camera. There's a little nut, a little screw goes in. And this allows me to position it. And it slides right in. And then it's still a little bit wiggly, so you just tighten it up. And then 
you adjust it to your preference. Tighten that back up. Open it up. And now you have your Peshad box ready to go. The next important thing is my panel carrier. So this is my panel carrier. It's something that I built myself. Other alternatives on the market, the Raymar panel carrier, that's a 10 by 12, or the panel packs. I think those are both good ideas. What I like about this is because I built it myself, it's super lightweight, gator foam, basswood. There are these little shelves, these little ledges on the top, which allows me to put panels in there. And then I just take the panel out. I put my panel on my easel. It rests on the little ledge. I take out usually a clip, better safe than sorry. And usually I'll have a single little clip that makes sure the panel doesn't come flying off because the actual ledge on my box supports the panel, but having a little bit of safety also helps. The paint I actually squeezed out before I got here. So your color palette is a very personal thing. Your palette might be entirely different. This is my palette. It's a modified earth palette. It's something that I would uh, get into in another video. In case I run out of any of these paints, I carry around a little bag. As you can see, this little bag, there's a label on it. So that is a label by Gamblin that they provide online. This is for when I travel. I keep my paints in a Ziploc bag. So the airlines, if they're checking my check luggage, I keep the paint in the check luggage. But then it's so convenient to have your paints in a little tight organized bag that I leave them in here, even when I'm at home stateside. The next thing in my bag, I do like to carry around a sketchbook with me in case I need to explore some ideas of composition. Sometimes, not really, not often. Importantly, I carry some brushes. I carry my brushes in this bamboo holder. And so they come out. And here I have a bunch of brushes, mostly hog bristle brushes, a couple of round sables. There's this one Egbert, a couple Master's Choice Rosemary brushes. That's a synthetic mongoose mix. They're really nice. Oh, my palette knife. This is the best shaped palette knife. You can see that it's between half, three quarters, maybe of an inch wide and two inches long, teardropped, not diamond. This is my favorite palette knife and I only use this palette knife. Anything smaller than this really isn't that great at mixing paint, a lot of paint. You can use something smaller, but if you're in the market for a palette knife, get one this size and shape. That sort of snaps onto the little magnet, it stays in place. These brushes I throw off to the side. When I reach for them, I reach for them. That's almost the last thing I need for setting up to paint. I can put this on the little carabiner with whatever kind of tripod, small tip, kick the legs out. So just by kicking these legs out, adding a little bit of width, that's going to make the tripod sort of grab the ground and it's gonna be much more steady. But now the last thing from my backpack is a palette cup. And I usually only have one palette cup with a little bit of linseed oil. Sometimes I try using other mediums and sometimes when it's empty, I carry around a little bottle full of spare linseed oil. Squeeze that out. I use that sparingly. Most of the time I'm painting with paint. We're making paintings, we're not making stains. We wanna use a lot of paint. We don't want to thin it out too much. Some of the things that I don't have that a lot of other people have, a lot of small doohickey tools, things like a viewfinder. I just use my hands, it's fine. Trash bag, paper towels. I have a few spare paper towels, but I don't really wipe my brushes down as I'm using them. I find that it's annoying to hold them in the hand. I also find that I just rather use the brushes I need to. And it's another thing to carry around. This setup was really designed around the idea that I wanted it to be as simple as possible, as light as it could be, as simple as it could be without any extra bells or whistles. This and my brushes is all I need now to make a great painting or great to be determined. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and make this painting and record the painting for Patreon because I also record and give full length process videos 
on landscape painting, plein air painting, related subjects. All these items I'm gonna list below in the description of this video. So if any of you guys want to actually go and maybe buy them, maybe upgrade to your own, check the description of that. The pallet box is my own design. So that might be the only thing that you won't easily be able to buy, just depending on whether or not I have these in stock. I do have it on my website. There's a little waiting list. So if you just email me, I'll take down your name for free. When I decide to make more boxes, I'll shoot you an email when I have them in stock. And that's about it. Uh, that's my setup at a glance. Comment any questions below or let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching. Until next time.